iPhone 6 in 2023. Is it worth it? I think the iPhone doesn't look horrible, but the display, I think they tried their best. It was like 2016 when they made this. They have like line displays above the camera. The camera is slightly smaller than like the 7, 8, or SE cameras, but it's still good. Um, it runs on iOS 12.57. And it's still functional for 2023, but you don't have access to some common games. But uh, let's get into game performances. It runs fairly well in in-app performances, and um, it will still function. You can still play games that are iOS 12 and below, but there are some, there is a couple games you could pick out from there. Maybe at least a few 50 games, but it will like, it will stutter and buffer, but after it loads in, it's not that bad of a performance. Um, but yeah, um, something that iPhone 6 Plus has that not I don't think any other phone has. It's actually cool. So, um, it's a cool part. It's like, a, it has gallery mode. So this is like one of the, try this on your guys' phones if you have them. It's only gonna work on the 6. The 6 Plus, but like, Give what? It a shot. But honestly, is it worth it? Most likely not, unless you're looking for uh, something cheap that you don't want to really spend too much on, but that still functions properly. Honestly, I would cut if you want some cheap. I'd recommend the seven or the eight, possibly the SE two if it's something better than the six. The six still runs. Don't get me wrong, but it's the performance is a little um outdated on the games and stuff so it will you know be a little laggy but honestly i give it a for 2023 wise i give it a i give it a 60 out of 100 it runs fair it's fair but um i hope you guys like the video and um stay tuned for more and this is gonna be the first apple video already uh the other one we're gonna do my old ipad 4 yeah, back from the dinosaur ages. We're going to do a um, sneak peek on this. And is it worth it in 2023? So, I hope you guys like the video. And peace.